on today's episode of Mr. Rogers Neighborhood, we get down and dirty and drill the mains on our 350 Buick. Uh, we open them up from your standard uh, 1964s, I think is what it is. I don't know. It's something, it's some weird size, uh, but it's virtually a quarter inch and we take them out to 5 sixteenths. We chamfer the, the main saddles and uh, get this block oiling like it should on the, on the center three mains. So let me get the camera flipped around. You can check things out and watch how I do it. Now here's why I always do the mains last. This should be the last thing you possibly do. Uh, and the reason why everything is kind of in its own order. So if you follow this, make sure you try to stick to the same order. It doesn't necessarily have to be the exact same way. Um, you could do it, uh, you know, do this last, but uh, do the, the oil feed or the oil suction side last or the feed side last. Um, but the mains, I always leave to last. And the reason for it is these are uh, technically a 19, or no, I'm sorry, a 9 30 seconds hole. And this one's 5 sixteenths, and this one's 7 sixteenths. As I told you yesterday in the video, these three mains, I think, are probably the ones that should be the largest um, because they have the most rods to feed, okay? So you take the number one main, for instance, the number one main over here has the number one main bearing plus one rod to feed. This number two main bearing has the number two main bearing plus two rods to feed, okay? So technically it should have more volume through these than it does this front number one main, um, which, you know, I wouldn't mind maybe one time trying drilling this or yeah, drill it, tap it. Uh, and put a pipe plug in there and then drill a hole in there that's probably maybe a quarter inch or nine thirty seconds because it's just got this one main bearing and one rod to feed. Uh, and then that way it would limit how much oil is actually coming out of this thing. Uh, but when you put your bearing in there, it does act as a restrictor or a restriction and it limits it to the size that it needs. So I don't know if it's really that necessary. I just don't like that big gaping hole. <laughs> but after you drill these, you know, you're going to stick your drill down in there with a drill bit. And if you end up mar on the saddles, uh, anything like that, normally on a Buick V8, you got to come in here and chamfer these holes anyway to get them to line up with the bearing. They're always off like eighth of an inch, three sixteenths, and you end up chamfering those holes anyway. Well, if you chamfer the holes and then drill it, it leaves you no extra material in case you mar this to take out of there. And that's the whole idea behind, kind of behind it was, you know, you could actually cover up your mistake if you do, like say your drill bit breaks here and scratches this really bad. Well, when you come in here and chamfer it and then you smooth it back down, you won't even be able to notice that it did mar it, right? So I always leave this to last. Um, so what we're going to do is, you, you know me, I'm going to take it out a 64th of an inch at a time because I definitely don't want to break the main saddles or the passage here in the block, um, but it does go down a considerable amount. So my drill bit, I, I'm just going up 1 64th of an inch, and we're going to take it down like, say, 3, 4 inches. Um, it's not going to go all the way to the galley, but I'm going to come back with my 5 16ths drill bit that's 6 inches long, and this will give me a pilot hole that's already centered um, so that way we, we have a less possibility of cracking it or breaking it. And we only got to drill a half an inch with the five sixteenths. Now this one is already five sixteenths. So I just leave it alone. Now remember these are at an angle. So you're going to want to try to mimic the angle of the block. Now it did only go down to essentially the cam bearing. So we're gonna to have to take our other drill bit uh, further, but it is a much longer. All right, so now we're 1 64th larger on the three main saddles. Now we're gonna go to 5 16 and we're gonna take them all the way down. Okay, so let's say you got, this is your number three main. You drill down through this hole here 
it's at an angle. You can see the casting in the block. It's at an angle and what it does is it clips this side of this cam bearing and then goes down into the, the oil galley. And you can see that oil hole and just clips the side of the main bearing or the cam bearing and then goes down into the oil galley casting that you can see there in the, uh, next to the lifter boards. So we're down to about that point on each one of the main saddles. So the best way to determine if you've got there or not, we got it down pretty far, is to go look through your main oil galley. Well, it looks like we might be through. So pretty much done right there. And we're gonna stop and we're gonna back it all out. That, that's how you do the mains. All right, so this block is pretty much, I'll have to chamfer these. All right, so I end up chamfering all these holes because like I said, the main bearings, they never line up well. Um, but here, there's gonna be some sticking out because I mean, you just ran, you just ran this sucker out and uh, it leaves a very sharp edge on it. So I come in here and chamfer these holes, try to get them at the same angle. supposed to use as a stone but I use these uh what do I do with the other one <laughs> the same paper rolls I seem I, I noticed seem to work a lot better um so I just hit them with the same paper roll and smooth it all up um, I will have to go back through the cam bearings and smooth those out some um, because you just cut into them like, you know, a, a big gash on the side, you know, it, it ha kicks out a lot of burrs on the side. So we'll have to go back in there and clean it up. I like to do it with emery cloth. So there's your chamfer holes. Let me get you down there so you can see them. All right, so the mains are done, drilled down through the oil galley, and the holes have been chamfered. Uh, we radiused all the turns in the oil feed uh, to the number one main galley, and I even did this number one main. I don't know if you can quite tell. It doesn't look like it opens it up much, but I mean, it, that one doesn't generally have that much of a problem lining up with the hole, considering the hole is small. And then this feline is 7 sixteenths. Um, it doesn't really have a problem. But now we've got all the 
hardcore oiling mods done uh, to our Buick small block. The 300 is technically uh, the same. Um, it just has smaller main saddles, um, which makes it a little bit more difficult with the drill since the main saddles are smaller and the angle that they're at, the drill gets awfully close to the main saddle, the chuck on the drill. So you gotta have a really long drill bit. That's why I have that nine inch long um, 5 16 drill bit was because of that. So, all right, well, until I see you again, uh, see you later.